precious family, we are under attack again. Things we need to work are broken down, and so many opportunities for frustration and anger have been made. But the Lord has given us vision to know when things come from the enemy so we can respond to him and not each other. Praise God. Yeah, it's, it's been a, a tough week. <laughs> and my angel told me it was going to be even tougher. So um, we're buckled up. That's all I can say. We're all buckled up and we're surviving and learning. We're learning so much about ourselves and about others as well. And praying. And we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. So I have a piece about anything that comes our way. I lost one of my cats, passed away, went to be with the Lord two or three nights ago. The Lord gave me such a peace. It was beautiful. And I didn't cave in like I normally would. So when I sat down, and we're all together here praying, and I sat down, the first thing I heard was onslaught. <laughs> the Lord said, you have been targeted again, this time with many more participants. Word travels fast. And they have called out to others to be a part of bringing you down. But, my beloved, as long as you confine yourself to my will and do not stray with curiosity, as long as you obey me when I ask you to work on music, as long as you are drenched in brotherly love and do not allow your curiosity to get the better part of you, they will not prevail. A lot of times it isn't so much curiosity as it is laziness and a desire to be entertained. Curb that insatiable appetite to know, for I will tell you the things you must be aware of. Somehow it will present itself for you to know. You don't have to go looking for it. Meditate more on the sweet things, my love. Meditate on these and flood yourself with heaven's fragrance. Make frequent trips with me to heaven. And as you press into obedience and what you are supposed to be doing with your time, the stronger and sweeter the fruit of your life. I want you to live in absolute sweetness and drench yourself in my love and provision but especially the sweetness of a life lived in my heart. That's why we're called heart dwellers. My children, this is to be the distinguishing sign of you belonging to me, absolute sweetness. Rid yourselves of all rancor, and the demons will have no grounds to stand on and attack you. Do not allow circumstances to dictate your moods. Rather, handle everything with absolute peace. Do not allow your feathers to be ruffled. Rather, sing sweetly to me. Be the songbird that came to the night of torment to sweeten the waters and bring peace to the little ones and the suffering. The enemy has tried to strip you of your precious gift, Claire, and turn you into a zealot but you have chosen the path of peace and joy in living your life for me and others. There are plenty of people to talk about events, but who is there to bring peace and confidence in me? Yes, it is good to know in general what is going on, but you cannot play with excrement and not get it on your hands. I do not want those kinds of spots on you. Rather, I want you to be my little peace angel, sowing peace in all your messages and songs. Please, my dove, purify your heart from every worldly care and curiosity. You will be able to comfort others by words and deeds. The community will follow your suit if you do so. It is pride that drives one to want to know. It is genuine Christian charity that spreads love and peace. Some will listen, others not. Do not be concerned. 
Someday they too will come around to that holy sweetness. But you will continue to turn souls to me and eternity. The more time you spend in heaven with me, the sweeter you shall become. Avail yourself of this privilege. Renew your spirit in the living waters, my bride. You all pick up so much contamination from the world. You are in great need of renewal and cleansing. It is worth the time and effort and will prepare you to stream sweetness to an imperiled generation. There is so much confusion, but love unravels it all. Love penetrates into the inmost place and sets the heart aright. This is one of the greatest gifts of music. It heals seamlessly and leaves no mark. So I asked him, because we just haven't had a Christmas spirit lately. I said, Lord, what about celebrating Christmas? Because we usually do something special. And he said, this absolute sweetness I am calling my brides to become will be the sweetest gift you could give me or one another. Strive after that and exclude all irritation and anger from your lives, being grateful constantly for the goodness all around you and one another. And that was the end of his message.